going to talk a little about the pros and cons of living in a mobile home. I hope you stay tuned. and welcome to my channel. My name is Homestead Tessie and my channel is all about living abundantly on very little money. I talk about frugal ideas and lifestyles that can change your life forever. I have quite a few new subscribers and so I'm going to share with you today the pros and cons of living in a mobile home. The number one pro of living in a mobile home is mobile home is cheap housing. Most of the times, mobile homes are cheap housing. When I talk about living in a mobile home, I'm basically going to be talking about living in a mobile home with your own ground. Because as you know, I live in a mobile home that's a homestead. So I have one acre of ground. Mobile home has always been in my blood as my daddy made a living selling mobile homes and having beautiful retirement parks. So I know a lot about mobile homes, but I never lived in a mobile home until about 10 years ago and I've been in the mobile home ever since. The pros of living in a mobile home is, for me, the taxes are really low. Property taxes are low. Here in Pennsylvania, I basically pay taxes on the land, and this is an amenity to the land. So this is what they call an improvement to the land. Since my house was built in 1963, it has totally depreciated. Now that means when I would go to sell this place, I probably wouldn't get a whole lot for my mobile home simply because it's that old. But that is what you want if you're going to buy a mobile home and live in it for a long period of time. Mobile home living is not tiny house living, but it's a smaller way of living. Mobile home living is a way that you can homestead really frugal instead of going out and buying a house and land, which is very expensive. Most people can't afford that. But mobile home living, you can. And I'm all about mobile home homesteading because a lot of people want to start homesteading and don't have the money to buy a house. There are a lot of cons to living in a mobile home. One of them is most banks will not loan money to somebody who is buying a mobile home. There are some mobile home companies that will lend money for mobile homes, but typically a branch bank, your major banks, will not loan money to people living in a mobile home. Mobile homes also are very damp. They're also very hot in the summer. Mobile homes are very loosely made, especially the newer ones. Now, I live in an older mobile home, which the insulation, I really need to put more insulation in. Homes are not built to last, usually. Mobile homes depreciate in time. Mobile homes are like a car, or a used car, or a book after you buy it from the bookstore. Once you buy a mobile home, the depreciation starts, if you don't have it on any land. Mobile home life is not for everyone. There used to be, for many years, a stigma about people who live in mobile homes. You don't see that quite as much anymore nowadays. A lot of people are living in mobile homes, and mobile homes are sought after. Especially a mobile home on any kind of ground, they don't stay for sale very long because people try to buy them up really quickly. And if you have someone who's willing to loan you a little money, you can have the mobile home, the homestead of your dreams. A mobile home homestead of your dreams. <laughs> I mean it. It can be the home of your dreams. Mobile homes are very quaint. And you can make them so beautiful. I've seen so many beautiful mobile homes in my days. I've seen people that turn mobile homes into beautiful little cottages. If you're 65 years and older and you're on Social Security, a lot of people sell their houses and they buy a mobile home. They downsize because a mobile home has less expense and they buy a mobile home in a park. My daddy made a living doing that and he would have a list of people waiting, waiting to get in a mobile home that were age 55 and older because they were downsizing and they wanted a mobile home where it was smaller and they wanted to live in a park where everything was taken care of for them. Mobile homes tend to be easy if you're getting older because they're like a ranch style house so you don't have steps you know it's all one floor it's very easy to get from one room to another mobile homes can be a tinder box so you have to be really careful when you're living in a mobile home you know mobile homes can go up in flames within five minutes and so when you have a mobile home these things you have to take in count you have to be very careful I have oil lamps here 
But if I was living in a mobile home with children, you would not be seeing this. If I was living in a mobile home where they had pets, dogs and cats, you would not be seeing this. But because it's just my husband and I and my grandchildren are older, I have a lot of oil lamps. Mobile homes can be harder to heat in the winter time because mobile homes are not very tight and so the windows are looser and you <laughs> get a lot of air air coming in. But there's things like winterizing my mobile home, which I did lots of videos above me. And as far as living in a mobile home, I really love living in one. You know, when I was first married, I said I would never live in a mobile home, and that was one reason only. And that was because of storms. Now, mobile homes are not very safe if you're in anywhere that gets tornadoes or hurricanes. But I've never had any storm here that I had to quickly leave my house. And so I don't really worry so much about storms as I have neighbors and my children live in a walking distance of me. But then once again, you can always make storm shelters, you know, you can have root cellars, you can build them in your mobile home, beside your mobile home, which my friend did. So, you know, living in a mobile home, there are so many pros and there's some cons to it. But if you want a homestead, but you don't have the money, a mobile home homestead is by far the way to go. There is nothing that even equals close to that except for maybe if you wanted to live in a tiny house but tiny house living can be very expensive as well because they're not cheap buying them new would i recommend buying a used mobile home or buying land and putting a new mobile home on if money isn't that big of an issue and you have a little bit of money but you don't have enough to buy a house i would definitely buy the land and put a new mobile home on it but then you have the expense of your sewer and you have the expense of wells buying a used mobile home the number one problem you're going to face is the plumbing mobile home plumbing is not good plumbing at all in fact mobile home plumbing doesn't last very long now because my home is from 1963 this mobile home has copper pipes and what happens with copper pipes through the years, they start to get pinholes in them and then they leak. Make sure when you buy a mobile home, you can buy a mobile home that has easy access to all of your plumbing because ours doesn't. Our plumbing in our mobile home is under a two foot crawl space, which we have a hard time getting people to fix it for us because it's so inaccessible. This mobile home probably wasn't built to last so long. So why does my mobile home last so much longer than some? This mobile home is in a valley. So we have a tree line above us. And so when we get high winds and we get storms, oftentimes it will blow right over us. So being in this valley, it saves our mobile home from the wear and tear of the everyday elements that a lot of people face. Mobile homes also, if you buy a mobile home and live in a park, you have to remember what does the park look like. If you're living in a park that is a very well-maintained mobile home park, then most likely your mobile home will retain a lot more of its value. But you never know what your mobile home park is going to look like in 10 or 15 years after you buy a mobile home. If your mobile home is in a park that has become dilapidated, of course, your mobile home is not going to be worth much at all. It all depends on your environment. It's the same with buying a house. You need to look at your neighborhood. Are you in a housing area where it's better quality? People take care of their houses. Is it a safe place? All of these things come into play when you want to buy a mobile home or when you want to buy any house. For the first couple years of my channel, I was just strictly homestead Tessie. Then I started doing a lot of research on mobile home living and mobile home homesteads. While there were a few out there, they were really hard to find. So I decided to make my channel Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living. That way people can find what it's like to live in a mobile home. And that way people can enjoy all of the beautiful benefits of living in a mobile home homestead. Mobile home homesteading for me has been a dream come true because at a time in my life where money was extremely tight and I wanted to start all over, the best thing for me to do was, was to buy a mobile home on an acre of ground.
Yes, this mobile home is old and there's things about it that need fixed drastically, but I've come to love my mobile home. I've come to know how it works and I've come to know how to work around it. I wouldn't trade living in my mobile home for anything in this world because I know it gives me peace of mind when I go to bed every night, I'm able to afford where I'm living and I'm able to live here without any financial worries for the rest of my life. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you love the idea of living in a mobile home and learning how to homestead, I have a whole bunch of playlists on how you can start today homesteading for beginners living in a mobile home or homestead for beginners no matter where you live, even in the city. And take a look at these videos right below me. I think you'll be really interested. Bye, everybody.